looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we have a bunch of stuff to go over, guys. First and foremost, guys, the Super Bowl last night, right? That That is in itself a conversation to talk about here. So first off, guys, are you guys happy? Let me know down below who is voting for Bucks, who is voting for Chiefs. I was voting for Chiefs. Why? Maybe because I hate greatness. I don't know. But I, I'm home. I like Mahomes, right? He's new. He's fun. Kind of reminds me of like Steph Curry when Steph Curry was, you know, just coming in, so it's you know hitting his prime, still in it. But point is, you guys, it kind of reminds me of that what he did for basketball. So very exciting to see. But of course, Brady also did the same thing for football. So older, but still fun. I was excited. I mean, at the end of the day, Mahomes has a whole career ahead of him. He's gonna go. He'll be back there. I bet you'll win more. It's hard in football, but he's that good, right? So he'll be back. It just so happens he went against the other guy who happened to be greater than him so far, right? So, I mean, either way, I was happy, though. You know, Brady keeps breaking records. A lot of guys who deserved, you know, Mike Evans got one. Um, Chris Godwin got one. Gronkowski got another one. Jason Pierre paul has been through a lot. He got one, you know what I mean? Like, it was still pretty cool. But enough of the Super Bowl talk, guys. We got to get into the video. So let's get into it. So subscribe, comment down below, and always like the video, guys. Let me know down below. It helps out a lot, so always like as well. Um, but if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. But let's get into it. So here's the thing. With today's content, we do have the 99 Super Bowl Tom Brady MVP. Remember that. This set right over here, if we come over to it, come over to sets, Super Bowl, uh, let's go to present. The MVP set is still available as of today. So you still can do it on 2-8. This is your last day to do it. So if you do want the 99 MVP Brady, you have a chance, right? Now the set's still going to be expensive, of course. That's not changing, uh, even though it is Tom Brady. But the issue with this set right now is, Supply and demand. There's just not a lot of Joe Namath's. You know, like they're just high in price for no reason when Tyreek Kill's cheaper than him. But like I said, if you want, to, if you want Tom Brady, here's a way to do it. Uh, we will be getting 99 overall Tom Brady. Let's go. Let's go over his stats kind of real quick of what he will get. Now he's not in game yet. Uh, usually, just like last year, it came out sometime later tonight than the next day. It's usually you know half a day to a day day delayed. Always been that way. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because they can't create a card until they know who won and then who got the MVP. And people are, you know, out and family and stuff. No one's really working. So they probably don't start to the morning. And of course, you know, <clears throat> it is what it is. They got to get in game, get it coded. So, uh, you know, I understand. But let's go to Tom Brady. So currently, our most recent Tom Brady is this 95 overall playoff hero. So he's going to get a 99 overall plus a power up. So he's pretty much going to get five overall increases from this one uh, in terms of stats, not in terms of actual overall. So this time, this next Tom Brady will have like a 67 speed. That's not what matters. He'll have like a 97 throw power. So he's going to have 99 throw power. His short accuracy, chem up and everything. By the way, I always include chem up, So his short accuracy is going to be 99 as well. He's going to have 99 throw power, 99 short. His medium as well will be 99 because he'll have the increased stats plus the play fake. His, go, his throw deep will be like a 95. Throwing the pressure will be like a 95. Throwing the run will be a 90. Play action will be a 99. Awareness will be a 99. Injury stamina, 99. Uh, this card's going to be great. I mean, it's going to be a great. If you're a throwing guy, field general, you know, hot route master, all that stuff. He's going to be great. Now, there's no speed, though. I mean, people like that little bit of escapability. But if you're a Brady guy, here's your card. He's going to have a great card. Now, Brady's going to have the best, probably <clears throat> best combined throwing stats in the game all around with, the, with, you know, abilities, archetype, and all. But the issue is, of course, he is not a mobile quarterback, and people like to have at least some little mobility. 84 to 87 speeds are preferable this year, so that's kind of part of the problem there. But, guys, it's not all we have. We have a few other things to go over. We have team standouts coming tomorrow. Team standouts, you know how that goes. Every team gets one, 32 teams. Now, you guys want to go check the last team standout drops, right? Head on over to the team standout sets, team affinity, team standouts. So, our last team standouts was series three, and that was 92 overall players. I imagine tomorrow's team standouts will probably be 95 overalls, right? So, we had Cordell Patterson, Higgins. Now, if you remember, this was the good one. This is the one where we got a few good guys here. We got laid off. Alua Khan was fast. Uh, James Robinson was cool but slow. I believe we got some good ones here. Was this no? Was this the bad one? No, this one was this one that wasn't as good. But 95 overall tomorrow, so that means each team in the NFL is going to get a team standout. And, you know, in terms of, like the Chiefs, who could get one? <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure. You know, Clyde just got a card. Maybe McCall Hardman could finally get a card, right? He's probably one of the last few guys who hasn't gotten an upgrade on that team. Um, I could see a few guys who could possibly get it. Maybe one of their cornerbacks, one of the defensive guys. But nonetheless, guys, team standouts tomorrow. We have 32 new players in the game, 95 overall. So we have team standouts. Tom Brady is well coming, which is super exciting. If you, guys want, if you guys want to know like predictions for team standouts, let me know down below. That could be fun to do. But again, remember, at this point in the year, it's going to be hard to predict team standouts. 
because everyone's you know more or less got an upgrade there might be a few guys who were given it's like okay this guy needs one like let's say for the giants right who got it for the giants last time around as an example the giants last time around got dalvin tomlinson and then we got let's see let's see let's see we got uh blake martinez so i could see a guy like on a defensive line getting it right or like maybe a jabril peppers who got one not so long ago maybe we can get leonard williams um maybe we can get the DeMar, DeMar, dexter lawrence you know maybe an xavier mckinney who didn't really play that much at all he came back slowly like, towards the end but at the end of the day there's some good opportunity for some guys you know based on your team and if you guys you know whatever home team you're a fan of you'll know you'll know better than i do in terms of who deserves an upgrade because you probably watch their games and you know, i stuck mainly, mainly to giants and some fantasy football kind of stuff but i know for that guys another big thing we do have coming that they did announce is a black history promo now, that's super exciting for a few reasons beyond you know beyond let's, let's keep race aside you know let's keep all that aside that of course obviously is awesome that they're implementing that into a video game but I don't want to get into, you know, can of worms on that. But in terms of, you know, just the video game, Black History Month promo, sounds like a fun idea to me. It's going to be fun. We're going to have solos to go. We're going to have solos to do. Maybe some free players. Maybe some packs. I don't know. But one exciting thing that we, we me and Zerk were talking about that we think could possibly be is Colin Kaepernick. Maybe like a 97 overall Colin Kaepernick would make sense for Black History Month. Now, in terms of a Colin Kaepernick card, how good could that card potentially be, guys? In essence, he'd probably be the best quarterback in the game. The well, best mobile quarterback, right? So right now, currently in the quarterback market, the closest thing to a good mobile quarterback, not, and Russell Wilson doesn't count as a mobile quarterback. Like when I refer to this mobile quarterback, I mean the speedy one. So Russell Wilson, 88 speed. You know, I'm talking about like the Vix. He's gonna be like in Vic territory, right? Because that's just kind of how uh, that car will be built. So a uh, Colin Kaepernick probably ends up with a 94, 93 speed as well. Ends up right there with Vic. Probably ends up with better accuracy, a little bit taller. Uh, probably 99 throw power when all said and done as well. Uh, you know, juke, spin, everything. Colin Kaepernick was always fun to play with back in Madden. You know, keep everything race aside and everything, guys. If you guys have been playing Madden, you know, like Colin Kaepernick was a fan favorite in Madden, like in terms of franchise mode, ultimate team, regs. You like playing with Colin Kaepernick. Yeah, I just feel like he was just super skinny, super agile. Just he felt like Vic, but taller and a bit stronger, right? In terms of what he could do. I would love to have Colin Kaepernick back in Madden, you know, despite everything. I would love to see him back in. I would love to see him give him a chance to finally be back in the game. You know, a lot, a lot was given up, so it'd be cool to see him back in this. And I, I can't see anyone else more fit for a Black History Month kind of thing. Of course, there'll be some other guys in there as well, maybe, but a Colin Kaepernick LTD Black History Month card would be super awesome. I'm pretty sure it was confirmed a while ago that they had their, you know, his rights. I'm not sure at all. I'm not entirely sure, but I thought it was. But yeah, Colin Kaepernick card. I don't know who else can get one. You know, it could be some other guys. I don't even know how they'd pick cards based on that. You know what I mean? Like, but it would be, it would be fun. It definitely would be fun. A Colin Kaepernick car would be really, really fun. Especially imagine they gave him like a 98, which I think would be 96, 97 max. But 97 power up to 98 would be super fun, especially as an upgrade over Vic. Because again, like I said, Vic is good and all, but Kaepernick should have better stats. Or he'll have better throwing, he'll have better height, and the speed should be similar, if not better, which I don't think they'll give him better speed. But the thing is that he's a higher overall. So could he get better, better speed than Vic? Maybe 95 base, but I think it'd be 93. They used to give him 93, 94 all the time. Hey guys, I think we're wrapped up today's video. Remember, we got... MVP, 99 overall Tom Brady coming. We have Team Standouts, 32 of them. And of course, we do have potentially, well, we have a Black Friday, uh, sorry, Black History Month promo for sure. But potentially, potentially a Colin Kaepernick. And as well, guys, we also have NFL honors coming. So if you guys, you guys already know the awards for that though. So just no surprise there. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you guys haven't already, subscribe, turn the notification bell. Always comment and like, guys. Comment down below who your predictions for the Black History Month promo and like the video. And if you guys haven't, like I said, make sure to spam, spam the comments, do what you gotta do, like the video, and of course, pick up points from what we down below. That's it. I'm out. Peace.